Narumvise ngurwamagana muri Kayonza hari umukobwa wiruka nkanigara gasigumu ya Umukobwa aranyaruka kuburyo nta muhungu wa mujinyuma She has fight in her She rides for a purpose She has the capacity to change so many lives in Africa I definitely remember when she first came here. Uh, she's shorter than me and she has a five centimeter higher seat than I do. She's all femur. Her test did very well. I was actually very impressed with her test. I, I was not looking at finding, you know, a, a woman cyclist that had as as strong a qualities as she had. Yakitano <laughs> She is an incredible time trialist. She got second in the uh, Continental Championships this year alone, only after two years of racing. She has the potential to be on a world tour team. And with that, she will be one of the first black African riders that, would, that will excel in Europe and USA. Oh, 
kugufasha nange numva mba mu rukome nange nazafasha beshi kandi nkagira nange cyo mbageza kuko nange naba afite cyo nigejeje Oui. 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 of cycling for women is simply women don't ride bikes. She's so much higher than the level of women cyclists here in Rwanda that we try to bring in people that she can compete with. It gives her an idea of where she can be, which our goal, our vision is to field the first all black African professional women's team. This is just the start. You don't see women cyclists other than South Africa. It's pretty exciting. I think Rowan is just beginning in cycling. Ten years ago when I came here, it was really almost nothing. For Team Rwanda, I, I think of Team Rwanda as still in its infancy. We've learned a lot, especially over the last couple of years. We've started to have success, but now it's morphing into Team Africa Rising that we're helping more and more countries realizing that Rwanda can be the catalyst. It would be great for Rwanda. It was great in 2012 when Adrian Nianchuti became the first Rwandan and the first black African to ever finish the cross-country mountain bike race. That was epic. Jeanne d'Arc being in the 2020 Olympics, that would be epic for sure. For her career, it's not the end all be all. They will be the next generation that helps foster the sport of cycling in their country. And coming from people who have done it, Rwandans who have done it, it's gonna be so much more powerful. After I start cycling, I decide myself to open this house and the academy. All the young generation, they can find a good opportunity to develop skills and also to learn more about trainings. If you have a work or you have something you love, you must go for it. Oui, en grande partie, le cyclisme, justement, euh, qu'on connaît aujourd'hui, euh, a commencé avec les taxis vélos. En fait, on encourage les districts, les clubs locaux à organiser de telles courses parce que ça nous aide à détecter les, les coureurs. Compétition, c'est un peu plus. 
There is no country in Africa where you see as many taxi bikes and transport bikes. You know, nine years ago, professional cycling was really not even here in Rwanda. It's kind of odd that they didn't have a developed racing culture. And it actually makes my job testing riders much easier because 90% of our riders come from taxi bikes. more value to these taxi bike riders because in the past they've been kind of you know the low level they're just taxi bike riders but now you got these taxi bike riders that all of a sudden are going to the Olympics and that's pretty remarkable and it's uh, it's an amazing story to even imagine. I mean, you couldn't even make it up. Thank you.